Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Matt. Hello, everybody. I am Shane, and we're talking about part two: the count and the wedding guest. So let me ask you: Have you ever been a guest in a wedding? I have been to a few weddings. Okay. At, and、uh, I've been to one in Canada. I went to one in India. One in China. Whoa. And the last one I went to was actually a wedding in France. Wow! So you've gone all over the world. You're like a professional wedding guest. You go travel the world and go to weddings. Yeah, that's my that's that's what I do. How how was the one in France? So that one was really, really amazing. Rom romantic, right? Very romantic. It was in a, an old castle.、So、What? Yeah. So they actually. Wow. My friends are from Canada that were getting married,、uh -huh. but they rented. They they paid to have their wedding in an old castle in in the countryside. I'm so jealous. That sounds so cool. Were there any counts there? I'm curious. It's in Europe. They must have had some counts there. I think there might have been some counts around. I mean, <laughs>、cool. I think, and this castle I think was owned by someone very important in the past that had built this huge castle in the middle of sort of in the middle of nowhere. Wow. <laughs> But, yeah, he might have been a count, but he, I know he was a very important person. Wow, I'm so jealous. Yeah. So, have you been to any weddings? Have you been a guest at any of? Any weddings? I have been a guest, but I've never been a guest in a wedding as cool as a castle. Oh, I, I'm really jealous about that. Wow. All right, let's go on and look at part two. Months later, Mr. Donovan and Miss Conway were engaged. However, she still wore black and the count's picture. Mr. Donovan appeared sad. He asked her, "Do you know Mike Sullivan?" She didn't. Welcome back. We're talking about part two of the count and the wedding guest. Okay, so in part one, we met two characters, Miss Conway and Mr. Donovan.、Hmm. They met at a party, right? And later. Uh, Mr. Donovan saw her crying in a park, and he found out the person she was going to marry had died.、Mm -hmm. And at that point, he decided, "I'm going to give her my heart. I'm going to take the place in her heart."、Mm -hmm. Right. So now we're going to find out what's going on with Mr. Donovan and Miss Conway.、Mm -hmm. So, months later, Mr. Donovan and Miss Conway were engaged. So then we said months later. Months later meaning usually more than one month, yeah, and usually less than six, six months. months. So right, it means a few months. Right. So that's pretty fast to get married. Yeah. <laughs> well, so they well actually they got engaged. Okay, that's right. So, so who knows? Maybe they won't get married because to get engaged means that you say let's get married, and usually this is very formal. So you're not just like hey let's get married.、Mm -hmm. They will say. Here is a ring, and you'll say,、yeah. "Will you marry me?" No, I'm sorry. no, okay. But if you did get engaged, <laughs> he will say yes. Yeah. Right, and then we're like, "Way!" And then you start to plan the wedding. Okay. Right. So、um, that's engaged is not quite married yet.、Mm -hmm. Right. So who knows? Okay. So it continues. However, she still wore black and the count's picture.、Mm, okay. So she's still wearing black because her. Her fiance. Maybe she's still sad. Died. So if you're going to get engaged, you will call that person your fiance.、Mm -hmm. So we said she still wore black, and we have still is a vocabulary word meaning from some time before and continuing until now、mm. and keeping going. So it's still. She hasn't changed what she was doing before. She still wears black, and she still. Wears the count's picture around her neck. Oh, okay. So it seems like she's not quite over the、mm -hmm. count dying yet, right? Okay. So Mr. Donovan appeared sad. Yeah, I think I would be sad too if the person I'm going to marry is still wearing somebody else's picture. Hmm. Hmm. And maybe she's. It's okay to be still sad. It's only a. A few months later, as they said. So. Yeah. Okay. So, he asked her, "Do you know Mike Sullivan?" She didn't.、Mm. 
Oh yeah, who's, who's Mike? The mystery man. Mike Sullivan. Okay. okay, what does it mean to appear? So we said that he appeared sad. It means to look sad. So in an outward way that people can look at you and say, "Oh, he must be sad." So maybe he's, you know, down. Looks has a maybe he's crying even to appear yeah. sad, but probably just has a sad mm. look on his face. Right. You can also appear angry or just right, and you can also appear. <laughs> Yes, from a, nowhere. From nowhere. So a different meaning of appear yeah. is to to just become come into view or be able to see something suddenly. Right. Appear. Okay. And we had another vocabulary word, sad. Right. So Mr. Donovan Donovan appeared sad. Mm -hmm. Sad is an adjective, and that's kind of what you were talking about here. Is mm -hmm. you know you're maybe crying or you're you have a frown. It's just the opposite of happy. Mm -hmm. So if you're unhappy, you are sad. So if somebody dies, of course you're going to be sad. Mm -hmm. If the woman you're going to marry is still thinking about her her past love, mm -hmm. that might make you sad too. Okay, so in there he asked her if she knows who Mike Sullivan is. So who who is this mystery person Mike Sullivan? Who do you think Mike Sullivan is? I don't know. Mike Sullivan, maybe it's Somebody he wants to, oh, maybe in the title, mm -hmm. there's a wedding guest, okay. right? So maybe he wants to invite Mr. Sullivan to the wedding, so he wants to make sure it's okay with her if he comes to the wedding. Yeah, that makes sense. If uh, maybe this Mike Sullivan is the mystery wedding guest from the title, and I can't wait to find out after the break. All right, let's find out. He is the most important person in the city, he said. He's also my friend and wants to come to our wedding. I'm sad because I can't say no to him. Then he asked her, Do you love me as much as the Count? Miss Conway didn't have a good answer, so she started to cry. Welcome back. So we've just learned that Mr. Donovan and Miss Conway have gotten engaged. Right. And just now, he was feeling sad because she's still wearing black and still wearing a picture under her neck. So he asked her, do you know Mike Sullivan? And she said she didn't. Okay, so he's now going to tell her about Mike Sullivan. He is the most important person in the city, hmm. he said. Okay, so if we say somebody is an important person, mm -hmm. what does that mean? So important meaning having power or, or some kind of influence. So you can, you can change the way other people think about things. People will look at someone who's important. Yeah, so if you're an important person in a city, you will mm -hmm. think of somebody who probably has a lot of power or a mm -hmm. lot of money, yeah. right? That kind of thing. And a person just means a person like me, you, compared to like an animal or a plant or an insect. Mm -hmm. I think we all know person, yuan, right? And if we have more than one person, mm -hmm. we have people. So this is important, right? Yeah. Person just means one. Yen, right? If you have more than one person, you have People. That's right. So whenever you're using, you know, that or this to talk about something, you should always be using person. That person mm -hmm. over there, this person here, <laughs> or there's a person. There's a strange person in my house. Right. You would never say he's a nice people. No, no. that's right. So. He's a nice person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So continuing. He says, he's also my friend and wants to come to our wedding. Oh. I'm sad because I can't say no to him. Okay, so yeah, we were guessing before that maybe the guest is going is Mike Sullivan, right? Mm -hmm. And it sounds like this is somebody that Mr. Donovan wants to invite to the wedding, his friend. But yeah. I don't understand why is he sad because he can't say no to him. So Mr. Donovan mm -hmm. can't say no, you can't come to the wedding. 
Yeah, so right. you'd think if he's your good friend, you'd say, yeah, of course, come to my wedding. You'd invite them to be a guest at your wedding. Yeah, so why can't he come to the wedding? That's interesting. Okay, let's continue the story. Then he asked her, do you love me as much as the Count? I think I would have this same question. Okay. Because she's still wearing black. Mm -hmm. She still has the Count's picture on the necklace. So I think it makes sense that he will have this feeling like maybe you still love him and maybe you don't love me as much. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, he feels that he's a little bit jealous. Jealous, so he's little, right. He's still jealous of this guy even though he's no longer around. Mm. Okay, continuing. Miss <laughs> Conway didn't have a good answer, so she started to cry. <laughs> huh. well, that's... Yeah, she doesn't know what to say because she Maybe she feels awkward or something, so she just starts crying. Well, maybe she just doesn't want, she's worried about upsetting Mr. Donovan. So if she oh. says, you know, so if she says, yes, I still love the Count, I love him more than you, that's really gonna, I think, gonna make Mr. Donovan be quite sad and he's gonna feel. But he, she could just say, no, I do love you more so she than the Count. So she just lie? I feel if you really do love, him more, you will say, yes, I love you more. But if she doesn't say the... But if she's a bad liar, he'll, he'll know. Ah, okay, <laughs> so just she just cries, and then he will say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, right? Yeah, so <laughs> it's one way to avoid the, the conflict. Yes. Okay, so I guess, I hope we can find out, you know, the answer to this question, why he has to say no to, to, to Mike Sullivan, why he has to say no to his good friend and not let him come to the wedding. And I think we'll find out in the next part, in part three. Okay, and that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you in part three. Months later, Mr. Donovan and Ms. Conway were engaged. However, she still wore black and the Count's picture. Mr. Donovan appeared sad. He asked her, Do you know Mike Sullivan? She didn't. He is the most important person in the city, he said. He's also my friend and wants to come to our wedding. I'm sad because I can't say no to him. Then he asked her, Do you love me as much as the Count? Miss Conway didn't have a good answer, so she started to cry. Hi, I'm Tina. We'll look at this key word. First, still. Still, 依然，依旧。假设你刚刚晚餐吃了汉堡，现在还是肚子饿，你就可以这样说 ：I had a burger for dinner, but I'm still hungry. 我晚餐吃了一个汉堡，但我还是觉得很饿。下一个单词 appear, appear， 动词，看起来好像，表现得怎么样 ？I tried to appear calm in the interview. 我试图在面试中表现得很镇定。下一个单词 sad sad 形容词难过的伤心的 Anna was sad that the trip got cancelled. Anna 很难过旅行被取消了。最后一个单词 person person 名词人，它的复数是 people. The person in the black dress is my sister. 穿黑色洋装的那个人是我的姐姐。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 months later 几个月之后。Months 可以替换成其他时间，例如 minutes, hours, weeks, years 等等。Later 是一个副词，表示之后、过后。我们来看看这个句子。Hours later, I woke up with a headache. 几小时之后，我醒来了，伴随着头痛。这个场景有点恐怖哎，我刚刚发生了什么事？呃。下一个文法 as much as 和什么一样多，这个用法用来修饰动词的程度。我们来看看这个句子 ：He likes skiing as much as swimming. 他喜欢滑雪的程度和喜欢游泳一样多。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。
Hi everyone, I'm Steven. Hi, I'm David. We're gonna play a game called Word Drop, where each of us has three words or phrases that we haven't looked at yet, and we're gonna try to work it into a conversation as casually and smoothly as possible. So I will start this story. All right. So the other day, I went to the fridge and I was really hungry. I was expecting to be able to open a fridge to a bunch of fresh vegetables and meat and fruits、oh. and eggs. But then when I opened the fridge, it was completely empty because I forgot that I already ate everything, and the only thing that was left were some rotten eggs,、hmm. and that made me very sad. All right. <laughs>、um, yeah, that is some really sad story to just eat rotten eggs when you're really really hungry because that's that's not. That's not good for you. If you run eggs, it's gonna ruin your stomach. You might have to go to the washroom and stuff like that.、Mm-hmm. And then, like, I think,、mm-hmm. I think. What do you think? You have to eat something better. You have to eat like.、Um, mm-hmm. You have to eat more carrots, more <laughs> carrots and more broccoli. This makes you a stronger and better person. Oh, I guess you're right because、mm. what ended up happening is like I just didn't want to waste food, so I still ate the raw eggs. I just don't want to waste food. Don't want to waste food. You、yeah. are special kind of person. I'll say that、um, because at first, I, at first glance, you look really, really healthy and you look like you work out, but、uh, like it's so weird. Like sometimes, why would you go in the fridge and like eat raw eggs? Like it's just it, it feels like you just ate them because it.、Uh, Appear to be there. It just popped out there. Well, I just feel like it doesn't matter if food is rotten, even if it's been sitting there for so long. Like, doesn't it need to have the same kind of treatment? You know, like I can't just throw it away because then not no one would have it. I、mm. feel like rotten food should have as much respect as fresh food. I think I think you're right. I think you know. I changed my mind. I think you're so right about that. I think raw food should get the respect that they needed, and it's just like raw foods are foods that have been left there for so many days, right? And so like, I think your food. I think you were telling me that the raw egg has been in your fridge for at least. I think it's been there at least thirty days, <laughs> and after thirty days later, and you eat that. You might build up some bacteria immunity for your body to become even stronger than before.、Mm, this sounds good. So I should eat rotten eggs. You should eat at least five. Okay. See you next time.